Today we have two goals. One, make the world's smallest working toilet. Two, try not to take a dump in it. Let's get started. The first step is to understand how human-sized toilets actually work. And if you're Mario or a less successful plumber, or if you just want to skip straight to the fun stuff, I'll put a timer right here so you can skip ahead. Anyway, for my research, I decided to take a trip to my own toilet. But while I was on my way, I somehow got distracted and spent two and a half years working an IT job instead. After this major setback, Back, my next best shot for research was Google, and I quickly found out that toilets are much simpler than you would think. There's just a tank full of water that's used for flushing, which is connected to the toilet seat, and the toilet seat has holes in it, which dispense the water into the toilet bowl. All of this will become much clearer in a second when I show you the 3D printed model I made. I'm using clear resin with this because I thought it'd be cool to actually see the water do its thing, and to emulate a flush tank, I'm using a syringe with fresh baby piss in it. I still don't know why baby pee is blue in color but if pamper says it's blue it's blue but anyway this should be accurate enough so as you can see there's the hole that connects the seat to the flush tank and the water comes through it and fills up the rim of the toilet seat essentially turning it into a ring of water that you sit on and then there are holes in this ring spread evenly around the toilet seat which let the water out along the walls of the toilet bowl when the toilet bowl gets filled with this excess water something interesting happens so there's this bendy thing right next to the toilet bowl and people often wonder why it isn't a straight bit of pipe instead of this unnecessarily over designed looking thing and no it's not because the man who designed it was french instead it's because of how water pressure works this bend is the reason why there's always that little bit of water in your toilet that splashes on your ass when you shit like there's a buy one get one on assholes so the water level in your toilet always remains lower than the height of this bend and when you flush this water level increases thus making it possible possible for your chocolate frogs to flow over the bend and into Narnia. That's it, that's how a toilet works. But we're not done yet because we have two major problems to solve now. Before we talk about that, I would like to tell you that I just got diagnosed with glow in the dark poop syndrome. And yes, my poop is unfortunately turning glow in the dark. But my doctor said that if people like and subscribe, it might help me cope with this debilitating issue. So please consider liking and subscribing. Back to the video. So the first problem we need to solve is this. We don't know how big the tank needs to be and how much water pressure it's going to produce and that's really important because if there isn't enough water pressure, it's going to flush the excess water and not the actual turds. We've all seen this in real life when that cousin of yours comes over whose diet apparently comprises mainly of lead acid batteries and drywall. Now coming to the second problem, which is the flushing mechanism itself, I tried looking up photos of what's inside a flush tank but it's really confusing and for some reason there's a balloon involved? Are you telling me if I open my flush tank I'm gonna find a free balloon? This doesn't sound right, man. Anyway, to solve both of these problems, I started working on the flush tank itself and set its dimensions in a way that allows it to carry about 20 milliliters or two thirds of a fluid ounce of water, which is comparable to the amount of water I was using for my initial tests. So hopefully we shouldn't run into any drywall eating cousin issues. Now for the second problem, I really went back to my roots. And by my roots, I mean shit flinging smooth brain monkey mode because I came up with this. So it's basically gonna be like a bathtub drain stopper connected by a string to a beam that rotates like this so when you push the flush lever down it unplugs the drain and the water flows into the toilet let's try it out with the toilet seat after attaching everything we can fill the tank up with water and try flushing Okay, so it does flush, but we've now run into another major issue. Remember when I said that I went full on monkey brain while I was designing this? Yeah, so I may have overlooked one minor detail. It only flushes once. I've basically created the world's first single use toilet. Because once you pull the lever down and unplug the drain cover, it doesn't reset on its own. So you're gonna have to open the flush tank up and manually reset it every single time. And at that point, I'd rather just shit a Doritos bag instead. Not, not, not that I've ever had to do it before. Anyway, we need to fix this. After watching about three days worth of David Goggins videos for some reason, I came up with this. So this is a self-closing flushing mechanism. You push the lever and it retracts a spring-loaded drain plug so the water can flow into the toilet. And when you release the lever, because of how springs work, it closes the drain back up and there's no need for tears or manual labor. Well, there still might be tears, but you know. Okay, great. Now let's test it. Flush it once. 
work so far. Release the lever, drain closes up, refill the tank, there's no leakage, great success. And so now we can conclusively say that I am the shit. Get it? The shit? No? Anyway, speaking of feces, I wanted to tell you that I have a Patreon where I've provided all of the 3D print files and instructions to make a mini toilet for yourself for absolutely free. Link in the description. Okay, so now that we have a working toilet, let's make one in classic porcelain white and test it in various real world poop slash pee situations. Regular rectangular normal poop. Two out of three turds recommend Colgate. Man trying to pee with a boner. Uh, I don't know what to say about this one. Unicorn poop. It works. Human poop. It does not flush. Black peppercorns. It works and it looks pretty cool. Charlie Sheen's nutritious breakfast. Okay, this one was a pain in the ass. It partially flushed on the first try and then the toilet kind of overflowed on the second flush. To fix this, I used my trusty old technique for resolving all life problems. Shove a finger in there, wiggle it around and hope for the best. Needless to say, it did not work this time either. The trusty part of this trusty old technique is that I trust that it will never actually work. Next item is egg. It works perfectly. Hamster diarrhea. Kinda works, but now PETA is suing me, so I don't know. Okay, all in all, I would consider this a great success. I'll now just wait for the Guinness Book of World Records to send me a plaque and crown me the Supreme Chancellor of all miniature toilets. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below if you're gonna make one of these for yourself or a beloved hamster. And please consider liking and subscribing if you wanna see more stuff like this. I highly recommend watching this video next. I think you're gonna like it. See you later. Bye. You are not we are so random. You bring the darkness to the light, split the atom. I ignore the fact that this will never last.